going Mount Till first. Okay, okay buddy. Are you ready? Here we go. I'm gonna get you because you're just like over there. Okay. your big criteria here for me. Which one can I get without having too many? Okay, I'm gonna get you because you're turned around. Sorry. <laughs> seats at the bar which is normally not something that I like but this is going pretty well so far tonight I kind of glad that we're up here we're out of the line of fire just a little bit so we've got some really good seafood coming some good salads Mrs. Carnes has ordered herself a lemon drop martini with a little sugar around the rim so um, I'm doing my gin and tonic and we've got some wine coming later check back to see the specifics on what we got Mrs. Carnes has out-ordered me once again. Oh, well. Somebody has to. We got there, Mrs. I have the cod. It's some um, lovely sauce. I don't know. She said it was a really good sauce. You have what? That's the halibut. Oh, the halibut. That looks really yummy. Is it good? Is it really good? Looks good. It looks really good. And I got the, the skillet uh, is impressive. <laughs> yeah, the skillet looks pretty good. Cool. Whatever you get, the skillet is always <laughs> impressive. So I have the beef and tuna, the rare, and I, Mrs. Carnes gave me some butter bean puree last night. And this has a butter bean set up with it. I've been going off script. I don't need a lot of beans, but I'm trying to turn over a new leaf and expand my palate. How's that? Perfect. So our server tonight, Megan, was just telling us a story that I asked her to read. Because it's really cool and it involves Gordon Ramsay. Take it away. Say it again. Gordon Ramsay. 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 Gordon
So I have the pleasure of serving Gordon Ramsay two mornings in a row. Um, he came in and ordered the uh, lobster benedict and liked it so much that he came back. And um, I, he was super nice, came in and addressed me by my name the second day in a row. So I felt a little, really cool. a little comfortable to yeah. Um, yeah. tell him. So I, when I brought his lobster out the second day, I kind of like gave him a look and I was just like, hey, would it be all right if we uh, mess with the kitchen staff a little bit and tell them that they hated it? And so I went back to the kitchen. And I was like, I don't know what you did to that Benedict, but the hollandaise was broken. He said the eggs were overcooked. And you could see just the color wash out oh, of awesome. our sous chef's face. And then, of course, I went back there and told him that he was messing around. Welcome. But yeah, it was probably one of the highlights of my serving career oh, was to go back and mess with the chicken right, strawberry. <laughs> Why? Why? I did. Yeah, that's, that's all I need. That's, awesome. on, that's all I need on my resume now. I don't need anything else. No experience. Exactly Just right. served him successfully. Uh, served him twice. <laughs> successfully. Successfully. I get it. Thank you. That's wild blueberry custard. Wild blueberry custard. Maine blueberries, and this is Maine apple crisp. Maine apple crisp. With Maine apples. So we just finished up dinner at Scales. This is uh, the third restaurant that we've eaten at that has the same ownership. We didn't know that when we made the reservations, but it's been sort of interesting to compare the different styles of the restaurant. Um, I think this might be my favorite. The food was fantastic. Lots of people in here. It's a very busy restaurant, which usually means the food is good, the service is good, everything comes together well. Um, our server tonight was Megan, we sat at the bar, and she was magnificent. Uh, you, you probably have heard a story from her already by now about how she waited on Gordon Ramsay. Um, but the ambiance was very, very good. They had some American wine. We had a nice Frog's Leap Zinfandel, and it paired very well with the tuna that I had and the halibut that Cod. Mrs. Cod, excuse me, that Mrs. Carnes uh, had tonight. So um, I like scales. This was my favorite of the three. If you're in Portland, I would say come here and try this place. So we are up on the Luna rooftop bar, which is a couple of blocks away. Hey, there I am. There we both are. So we're, we're enjoying a after dinner drink. The Maker's Mark on the Rocks, a little Prosecco for the lovely lady. But we're up on a rooftop bar. Um, Luna is the name of this. And I'm trying to, it's a Canopy Hotel, which is on Commercial Street here in Portland. It's just, uh, two buildings over from where we're staying at the courtyard. So we, we started this thing where we have to do cheers and then kiss each other. So cheers. 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 Cheers, cheers to you. Cheers. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Cheers. <laughs> The red hand up. Talk to the hand. Talk to the hand. That's where that came from. There was nobody coming. It was a red light. The guy was just sitting there waiting. Well, here's our hotel. Lovely and majestic. Yeah, it is. It's a very nice hotel. It is a nice hotel. I'm glad you chose it. On a cobble street. I was cobble, chastised at dinner tonight. On a because, cobblestone because street. Because I don't have an Airbnb by the people that said that. Well, you should have mm -hmm. looked at Airbnbs. We'll see. I'm going to predict there's an Airbnb in our future. Remember that. A YouTube channel. We might as well be millennials. Come we on. We might as well. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Just to ask it a question here. I think we've had 
enough nine caps. No, I'm going up. You have a nine cap. Hi. I feel like Lily Tomlin sitting in this chair. And if you're my age or older, you'll know what that means and how funny it is. Mrs. Carnes has no idea who no Lily Tomlin is. Sitting in the big chair on lap in. I just want to sit in these big chairs. I just thought they were cool. They've been in the, lo in the uh, lobby oh these many days and I haven't got to sit in one. So I just decided tonight I would take the moment and sit in them before we left. Do you feel better? I do. Is it everything you hoped it would be? I'm thinking of putting some of these in my living room now. Put one over by the fireplace. <laughs> I'm going it'll, to. It'll be perfect. Jim will love it. <laughs> <laughs> a lobster no try only do only do there is no try only do mm -hmm. with lucky catch so we're about to head out I just didn't know where it was so it's a piece of the Berlin Wall hm. interesting See that little lighthouse over there? Did you see that? This is more what I thought we would see. I guess we just haven't walked down here yet.
for the lobster. What kind of fish did she say these were? What kind of fish did she say they were? Hoagies? Hoagies. 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 H
think. There we go. Okay, here he comes. Nice. Got you too. There. You can sit with your friend. There you go, buddy. Awesome. So you guys are number four. So what are we supposed to do now? You'll tell us. You'll take them right over to the restaurant there. Okay. So you're number four. That way when you take them over, you get the same ones. Back. Perfect. Okay. Great. Okay. I got the five feet ones. <laughs> you did. There's plenty to see. So we just finished up a lobster catching cruise out in the harbor with Lucky Catch. And I've got Rachel here with us. She's gonna tell a little bit about what they do. Hi guys. So our tours here are 80 to 90 minutes long. We go out and haul lobster traps. We get you geared up in aprons and gloves, show you how to bait, measure, band, all of that. So it's pretty interactive and hands-on. Then at the end of the tour, the lobsters are available for purchase. They go for And they're good, price. I will admit to that. <laughs> yeah, they were really good. So good. We just ate one. <laughs> Number four. <laughs> Number four. <laughs> they go for boat price, and then at the end, um, the Portland Lobster Company will cook them for mm -hmm. you. It's 12 plus tax per lobster, and it comes with a whole meal. Yeah. It's a good time. <laughs> it was a great time. And when you come to Lucky Catch, they promise you a 70 degree <laughs> sunny perfect day with the weather outside like it's been today oh. it's always like this weather's here always like this every day yes. we, we, we lucked out we really really it did it was really but nice yeah, if, you, if, if you're in portland it's something you need to carve out some time to do, do it it's a lot of fun and it's certainly worth the money thank you thank you guys so you're so welcome yes. <laughs> caitlin are you in the snow what are you doing? Look at you, big girl. You're in the snow.